It's Dawny P here and hope everybody's safe and well today. Welcome to the uh, my YouTube channel and to this video, which is all about Tonic Studios Designer Choice 17 Home Sweet Home. This is the cutest little house, honestly. Um, you get a set of dies which will enable you to make a 3D little house like this one. Um, but it's much, much more than that. Obviously, you can use the um, these pieces here to make a, a, a house that's kind of flat um, on to, if you want to just stick it onto one of your cards. You've got all sorts of um, little bits and bobs in the way of dies, which you can use to enhance your cards and projects. So not just for this. So what we're going to do, as we usually do, we'll have a little look at the dies. Then we'll have a little look at a couple of the samples. Then we'll come back and we'll put this house together. Right, so these are our dies. So you've got your main piece here. And um, so you'd cut two out and you'll see that when I um, put the house together in the end, you just it's joined at the base here. This is the base. This is the roof. That's a wall and that's the front. Then you've got um, an outside edge um, die, this, this sort of shape. And I, when I first saw this, I thought this would be great, you know, for weddings or christenings, confirmations, things like that. It make a really nice church, a church front rather. So you can use that. It's got um, an inside edge that goes with it. And also there's a little door that sits within um, that's that shape. I don't know what you call it. That's that sort of shape there. Then we've got oh, where to start. You've got another um, fancy panel set here, which you could use that will fit in the side. So if you wanted to add windows to the sides, you can and a bit of trellis work. You could do that as well. A couple of leaves. Um, one of the uh, cards you'll see in my, well, my sample um, houses. I've actually cut these out and done them so that they go around the door. Uh, what else have we got? We've got some stones, little stones, which are useful. A really nice picket fence, which will sit, I can pick that up, that will sit um, along your sides and also the front if you want. You've got, um, what have we got else? We've got, oh, cute mushrooms, toadstools. These are lovely. Those, a little butterfly and a larger butterfly. You've got another little um, window detail there. You've got some flowers, some grass. What have I missed out? Um, oh, can I forget this? So this one is one of those, you know, like we sometimes will put several dies together. So if they're so small, we kind of join them together. But when this is cut out, you'll get um, a, a little watering can, some plant pots, which you could use with your flowers. And th this shape, which is probably hard to see here, this one here, which looks like, I suppose like a baby's dummy, but it's actually a knocker for the door. Oh, so cute. Really, really sweet. So you've got that. Um, so those are your dies. We'll have a little look at what you can do with them. And then I'll see you back here in a second and we'll put something together. Okay, so those are the samples and I hope you like them. Um, so what we're going to do now is we'll put one of these together and you'll see how easy they are. So I'm going to do this one here, um, which is, I've kept it fairly plain and simple. I mean, you can really go to town on these. Um, so let's make a start. Let me put that there. So what I've gone ahead and done, 
these are my main pieces which and i'll show you the dies i've used so i've cut two out using this large die and then i also cut um and this is just personal preference because this paper i'm using is is white on um the wrong side i just cut um a little piece like i cut a separate section of this bit here rather i can't get my words out um which i'll use to line the bottom of the box um the one i did here um i actually made it out of it was it's three three hundred at least three hundred gsm cardstock and it, it's and then i've covered it so th this is really really um sturdy um but you know you don't have to do that if you don't want to so for the purpose of what i'm going to do here i've just used this um, and again, our craft perfect cardstock is ideal for this. So those are those and the bottom piece. And then for the door or the front of the house, rather, I've cut um, one of these out in white. This here. And then I've cut it out again in this um, sort of grey. Um, I can't, you know, I'm so sorry. I can't remember. I'll put it in the details at the bottom. Can't remember the colour of that. Um, it's Craft Perfect card. And I cut um, one of these and then cut that shape into it to make that. Then I cut a little door in white. It's this die here. A little door in white out of that die. Then what else did we cut? Um, we cut, right, okay, I'll show you what I did for the, the roof. So I use these, the two of them together. So I cut these out in, this, this one here, you'll notice um, one's got a round edge there and one's got a sort of flat edge. So I've, I've laid these up to make the roof. And I cut out eight in white and eight in that same grey. Um, so the white's the one with the straight edge and the grey's the one with the round edge. And um, what I did for those is I laid them up and I'll, I'll just put one together now and show you. So what I did there is I just added a strip of glue on there and then just glued those together like so, just lining up um, the edges like that and then on the back um i think i've actually added a little bit of tape so we'll add that onto the back there um, for when we stick it down onto the roof you don't have to use the tape you can go ahead and you can use um wet glue for that if you want so that's the roof done okay let's move these out of the way that's those there um okay the little tag i've made a little tag so um which is going to hang from the roof so i've used the tag die and again because my um card is that the the pattern paper that i've used is is um one-sided i've cut two out i'm going to just stick these together just stick these together so that it looks you know neat and tidy on both sides like this Okay, give that a minute to grab. Okay, so that's the tag. Now the other part of the tag is made using these dies here. So this is um, your sort of outside edge and I've cut that out in white, one of those. And then this is the uh, die with the words on. Now it, it's not an outside, uh, an inside edge, so it will cut out in, in one piece like that. It doesn't stay in your card. And I've cut um, two out and I've stuck them together just so it stands away a little bit um, from from the flat piece on there. So what we're going to do, just move that pin and I don't get it main myself. I'm um, just going to add a little bit of um, wet glue for this. Now the glue I'm using is deluxe adhesive, but it's not in its usual house. So what I like to do with this glue is um, I like to just make sure I'm doing this the right way. I was the right, I was right the first time. That's going to go on here. You'll know it's right because this little V here corresponds with the V in home. Okay, so that's on there. Yeah, so what I like to do is I decant the, um, my wet glue 
into one of these um, plastic bottles. They're quite quite reasonable. You can get them, pick them up um, online, lots of places. And it just means I can get into tiny, tiny areas if I want to. Um, and we're going to put you on that way, like that. OK. And then for that, um, well, I'll put, I've cut a little butterfly out in red, chilli red, and I'm going to stick that on. But I'll do that at the end. But that's another piece that I've done. So let's keep you there. I've cut two of the picket fences out in white, just plain white. I've done nothing else to them. That's those. Uh, we've done that one. Uh, two. This is olive green and I've cut two um, bits of grass out. There. I've cut, I have to be careful I don't lose this, one of the little knockers out in um, like a, a, a silver, a pearly silver. I've got in here, I'll show you because I've cut them out but I haven't used them on this project but um, I will use them on something else because they're too sweet not to. These, on this die that I told you about, you get um, the watering can and you get some plant pots and that's what they look like. Aren't they cute? Aren't they sweet? Sorry about the camera shake as well, by the way, I just noticed. OK, and then we're nearly there. What I've done, I've cut two, um, two of the toadstools out in craft and two out in red and then I've literally chopped the heads off the toadstools and st stuck them down onto the um, the craft. This here, the white, now I, I won't lie, I, I've used a Posca pen and the reason I've used a Posca pen is that I went to get my um, beloved white um, Nouveau drops and I've used them all. So in desperation, I used my Posca pen, but it's, but it's okay. It's fine. Um, and then the, finally, the flowers. So I cut um, two of the larger flowers out in green and two of the larger flowers out in red. And ditto the smaller ones. And all, I'm, all I did there is just literally snip the head off the flower oh, without cutting the, too much of the stem down. Like that. A little bit of glue on here. And then just layered that up like so there we go so we've got two of those and we've got two smaller flowers so those are all our bits now we'll put it together and what I'm going to do for this bit I'm not going to talk I'll play some music then you can watch me putting it together OK, I'll, I'll, I'll speak to you at the end. OK.
there we are there's our little house all done and all ready to give to somebody um as a little gift it's absolutely beautiful i really really love this little set um so i hope you've enjoyed that today and um thank you so much for stopping by and i'll see you again soon but till then take care and stay safe bye